When the clocks go back in hours, what do people working a night shift do? So nurses. Any other job that requires people to work late into night. When the clocks go from 1.59 back to 1. Do they get paid for an extra hour? Do they have to work that extra hour? Can they go home? I've never understood how that works. You watch the clocks roll back an hour with dread hospital and work that extra hour. Can only speak for when I had a night job I worked the extra hour, and got paid the extra hour. When I was at Amazon. Which was not an obligatory round the clock job like a hospital. They just didn't change the clocks till after night shift left. When I was in labor last year. It was when the clocks went back. I asked one of the nurses about it and she said they basically have to suck it up. My husband ordered pizza to the ward that evening and shared it with the nurses on my ward cause we felt so bad. You just work an extra hour. Paid, of course. You get paid for actual hours worked. Not the difference between your clock in and clock out time. Billing software is programmed to accommodate for hour shifts like that. But if a particular workplace doesn't use a tool that does it automatically, the managers will communicate how to log it to get paid properly. Unless a manger has said otherwise. You're off when the clock says you're off. If that's 2 a.m., you're working the extra hour. Because it doesn't get to 2 a.m. until you've been through 1 a.m. twice. On the flip side, you're out an hour early when the clock shifts the other way. Try being on nights on a Navy ship coming back from deployment. Time shift happens every night at 0200 and for 8 days in a row you get to work an extra hour lol. Tis bullshit. In my country, you have to work an extra hour but you will be paid for it. When it's opposite and the clocks go forward, you get to work an hour less but still be paid your normal amount. My family used to own a 24-hour business. When clocks turned back in the middle of a shift, we paid them the full 9 hours. When clocks moved ahead they worked 7 hours but we still paid them for 8. Depends on the job. Usually you get shafted and have to work the extra hour get one less hour. Suck it up and watch the clocks go back an hour nurse. You work the extra hour and get paid. The only bad part about it is when you had an hour to go until break. And now it's suddenly pushed back another hour. We would get paid for the extra hour in overtime and the morning shift would get an extra hour of sleep. Conversely if the clocks go forward we still owe them for 8 hours so we have to stay for that extra hour. It's stupid. I still work my normal 12 hours but get off at 5 instead of 6. In the spring I only have to work 11 hours. I have to stay until morning shift comes in. I get paid for the hour but management often tries to make me come in late before pay period ends. Nope I always find a way to keep it. I worked night shift at Walmart during the springtime change once. I didn't think anything of it I clock in at 10 p.m. and clock out at 6 a.m. Right? I just assumed I would be paid an hour less than normal. No big deal. One of my managers came around at 3 a.m. telling everyone they had to stay until. No. I left when I was scheduled to leave. And I quit shortly after for many reasons. When I was bartending. The clock would go from 1.59 to 1.00 and all the drunks would start cheering. And we'd laugh and tell them to get the fuck out and close at 1.00 lol. Closing time was 2.00. By the way. Each company will have its own approach to handling the schedule. Overall. Though. Extending the graveyard shift by an hour or reducing it by an hour tends to be one of the. Simplest solutions. Workers who are salaried get paid a flat rate regardless of hours worked. Workers who are paid hourly must be paid for all hours worked. That includes an extra hour if their shift gets extended.
In some cases that could also include increased pay such as overtime or a shift differential. They work an extra hour and get OT for it where I work. They get paid. Suffer. Clocks going forward was a dream a dream on a 12-hour night. Clocks going back was a nightmare. I don't work Sunday nights anymore but when I did we had the option to leave at 8 hours or work the extra hour and get paid overtime. In the spring we had the option to stay to make your full 8-hour shift or use an hour of PTO to leave at your regular time. When I was working the night shift and paid hourly, yes, I got paid for that extra hour. Conversely, I also lost an hour's pay on the other side of the time change. The night shift gets paid the hours worked, including the extra one I've worked for three hospitals and a nursing home. Going back to the 1980s and that's what was done each time. We work the extra hour and hope we are rostered on for the clocks going forward. Night duty RN for many years. I'm glad I was off that night. As a security officer, I have to work an extra hour for free. It's not good, but only once a year. They're paid for the extra hour. Probably time and a half if it's a union workplace. Even the most archaic workplaces need to conform to employment and labor laws. If you work, they have to pay you. If you work at a place that ignores the time change and says it all balances out at the end, it's because the payroll department is lazy and doesn't want to adjust the pay of the people who are entitled to the extra hour of pay. It only takes one call to the labor board to fix this. Depends. Sometimes they give you an extra hour of pay. Sometimes they do not give you an extra hour of pay but don't make you lose it when you spring. Foward and lose an hour. Sometimes they make you come in an hour late to make up for it. It all depends. At my company, you work a 13-hour shift instead of a 12 and get paid for 13 hours. Where I work, we watch the clock go back and hate that we're stuck there an extra hour. We do get paid overtime for that hour. From a production accounting and data perspective DST is annoying. You get a 23-hour and 25-hour day that you have to reconcile in your financials. 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. repeats on the fallback day. So you get duplicate time entries on metering data. Some critical systems just ignore DST and run on processing plant time that doesn't shift. I grew up in Saskatchewan and we didn't recognize DST this clock shifting thing sucks and should be abolished. When I was the assistant manager of a group home, the company paid everyone working an hour of overtime. I actually thought that was a class act. A lot of similar companies would have tried to juggle schedules or use salaried staff to try to eliminate that overtime. Under any other circumstances I was expected to minimize overtime. But that one time every year the company just bit the bullet and paid. It was probably less than $2,000 total across the whole company. The worst feeling while in watch in the Navy in deployment. Also crossing dateline. When I did nights it counted as an hour of overtime. I was at a bar once when the clocks rolled back. We got an extra hour of drinking time. The place went nuts. Did you also see that video of someone working in shift that ends at 2 a.m. recording the clock? Turning back from 1.59 to 1.00 lol. We cry, and we rue the day that daylight saving time was invented. We had to work the extra hour but we get paid for it. For the opposite when they roll the clocks forward. We still got paid for 8 hours despite only working 7. Pretty nice. I worked security during college and this happened a lot. Yes you get paid for the extra hour. Interestingly, when it went the other way in springtime and we lost an hour technically only worked 7 hours we still got our full 8 hours pay.